he suffers with dementia. Um, but when he's playing ping pong, he's really happy in what he's doing. And it's funny because Paul and his wife says, um, you can always tell when he's had a good day because when he's home, his dementia is not as bad. So he is gripped with Alzheimer's, but um, it just comes to life. He's just comfortable when he's playing this great game. He's just back in a time zone when he was in full flow as a younger man. I have to say that I really enjoy what goes on. You go in and you think, hey, that was good. And uh, so I can, you know, spot into somebody and say, I've really enjoyed that, it's gone pretty well. For, for Keith, people like Keith, it's brilliant because it's something physical that he's enjoyed and he's obviously good at. And I had forgotten just how good he was. But uh, I, think, I think when you perform like that, you do enjoy it, don't you? And I thoroughly enjoy watching him because he enjoys it so much. When I think what Keith has done in the past, this Alzheimer's is, is terrible, isn't it? He's so at home with the bat and the ball. I used to try and put it in more or less the same spot for Keith, thinking, you know, I don't want him to uh, overexert himself. Quickly realised that Keith was exceptionally talented and started to knock me all around the room and such a gentleman at the same time. So if ever I said, um, what a great shot, he was, oh, I said, maybe I was a bit fortunate with that one. But yet another one would be coming within another few seconds. With, with a lot of people with dementia, and Keith, Keith is one of them, is they get the when Paul is not around, for example, like he, he can get quite panicky, or he can get quite confused and not really understand what he's doing or why he's here, or you know, and, and they'll ask him many times and questions, why he's here, what he's doing, um, but when he's doing something that he enjoys, like the table tennis, um, he doesn't he's, he doesn't ever ask. He's always quite he's quite happy doing what he's doing, and as you can tell by his face because he's smiling and he's, he's laughing. I think it's just marvellous to see him able to still enjoy life because she does say that when he's not playing, Alzheimer's is, is a huge factor and that must create quite a cloud for the family actually. Whereas this lifts that cloud and he's just in full flow, he's just, he's just smiling and beaming and she does say he never quite smiles in the same way as when he's playing table tennis.